Rebel Wilson is getting candid about what's been going on in her personal life. The 42-year-old actress opened up to People magazine about transforming her health, learning to truly value herself, and what's going on with her fertility journey. As it turns out, Rebel's transformation was about much more than weight. Saying to the mag, it was about dealing with the emotional issues that caused me to emotionally eat, and that's a process. You cry a lot, analyze things. I'd never done that before. It's really hard to know why you don't feel worthy when people look at my life on paper and say you've done all these amazing things. That's what I'm trying to overcome. The senior year actress's inspiration to transform her health started after she visited a fertility doctor back in 2019, and he told her she'd have a much better chance of harvesting and freezing her eggs if she lost weight. He looked me up and down and said, you'd do much better if you were healthier. I was taken aback. I thought, oh God, this guy's so rude. He was right. I was carrying around a lot of excess weight. It's almost like I didn't think of my own needs. I thought of a future child's needs that really inspired me to get healthier. Rebel also revealed to the publication that she has polycystic ovarian syndrome, which can also affect fertility. So she embarked on a quote, year of health in 2020 and eventually lost over 80 pounds, sharing, it wasn't a goal to get to a certain weight. It was just being the healthiest version of myself. Throughout her career, the Pitch Perfect star has always been an advocate for body positivity, as she revealed that her character in the acapella singing movie franchise, Bad Amy, was one of her favorites to play of all time, saying in part, I loved representing and I was so confident, but at the same time, I did feel at times insecure. Sometimes it's hard doing a photo shoot next to your fellow actress and she's a third of the size of you. I was invisible in a way, even when I was an international movie star. And then suddenly to have people want to carry your groceries, do nice things for you purely because of how you look, it's interesting. Rebel continued on, adding, I know what it's like to be on the other side of that coin, and now I know what it's like to get attention in the positive. There is a societal bias towards what society deems as good looking. It's not right. It sucks. It's unfair. I feel sad if somebody doesn't love the body they're in. You want to celebrate all body types, but I also want to encourage people to be healthy. Now that the Australian starlet is where she needs to be physically and mentally, she's excited and optimistic to try and start a family on her own, saying, I would love to have a family. I'm just going for it by myself at the moment because of the biological clock. If I meet the right person, great, and then they can fit in with whatever happens. It's great that the technology exists. You have so many options with surrogacy and sperm donors. I only started thinking of fertility when I was 39, so you feel quite late. But then there are women in their mid-40s who have been successful. Look at Janet Jackson. It's pretty inspiring. Any woman who's gone through it, I really relate to. It's been an emotional roller coaster. I don't know how it's going to end, but I'm still young enough to try.